Doodly-doo. 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 Doodly doo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the tools. Look at this, you guys. Holy cow. Good morning, frugal friends. I've got Reagan and Mimi with me this morning. Look how happy Mimi is that she gets to come along dumpster diving, huh, Mimi? I said, wake up. She hopped right up and got ready, huh? And Reagan, he's the old pro. It's going to help show her what's what and who's who and how to do it. Right, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's go. See if this bag has anything. It does. Oh, wonderful. I will grab a few of those patterns, don't worry. But this is what I'm excited about right here. There are some goodies, magazines, um, foliage things. Let's just grab these real quick. And they are not wet, which is great. So <clears throat> the kids brought over the tote for me that's so helpful did you guys get that box and put yeah. it in the van thank yeah, you and you helped her you guys are so great oh and some buttons and an earring <clears throat> right now you can just stand and hang out for a minute Some paint. It got a little messy, but that'll be all right. There's one that's just fine ish. Ish. <laughs> Let's see. I do have gloves, guys. I just forgot to put them on. Oh, look how cute those are. Those are fun. <clears throat> oh, oh, Mimi, are you so excited? It's a little uh, Anna pop up lollipop emoji i'm betting the candy's gone but the toy might be fun oh some sparkly clips okay hold on guys i just need to hurry and get this stuff out okay i think that's it oh reagan will you guys grab me one of the grabbers or both of them, that's fine too. Look how excited they are. I don't usually check this bin, it's a Burlington, but we had a local diver friend tell us that we should at least stop and check it out. So I'm gonna stop and check it out. And she was absolutely right, holy cow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the tools. Look at this, you guys, holy cow. Look at this right away. Gorgeous necklace. Looks like it's broke, but we'll add that to our crafting supplies. Little cooking plate, pan. If I can get it. Beautiful glass dish. It tried to roll away, but we got it. Beautiful dress. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, I hope these aren't destroyed. We'll find out. I had fun with that dress, and I swirled and twirled, but now it's time to speak of I. See what other life that dress might have. Maybe it's a dead bride's dress. Ooh. Ooh. My pot is definitely too small. Here's hoping, <laughs> here's hoping it still works. If not, it really hasn't cost us much. But I really do hope that it works. Right now it's looking like we'll definitely at least get a, a lovely purple, but I really want black. However it turns out, we will of course make it work. Do you think 
Of course, by the time I put this up, we'll know, but do you think we could also do the lace in this same pot after, of course, the dress is done? And just use the same, the same bath? Would be nice. I feel, this is so perfect for this time of year and I've got like my candles over here. Too bad I don't have them actually going. But this is like my cauldron, my brew, I'm potioning, don't you know? Very carefully, of course, because I don't need this stuff splashing anywhere. Not on our <laughs> brand new floor. Ooh, must be, must be very careful. For about a half hour. The lace is all lace from the bins. I don't remember where we were able to salvage it, but we did once upon a time. So let's at least try to get some of it colored. My little corpse bride is going to be so fabulous. This is so satisfying. Oh, seriously, forgive me, a wicked cackle. <laughs> so it's darker while wet. Now we're going to rinse it and rinse it and rinse it. It will not stay this dark, I'm afraid, but I'm interested to see just how dark it ends up. It's also interesting seeing how the different fabrics took, took the color so much stronger. Well, not really, because most of the other fabrics were plain white and the dress was uh, light blue, so I guess that's not surprising. So I've got laundry going in the washing machine right now, so I can't be doing this in there. So instead, I have it here in the shower getting dripped on, hopefully getting as much of the excess dye out as we possibly can before I do put it in the washing machine with an old towel as directed. But look at these colors, look how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Frugal friends, this, I don't know, this might be the most amazing dumpster upcycle I've ever done and I've done some pretty awesome stuff I'm also tempted uh, to have the dress be inside out you'll understand when I show you the fabric that's on the inside and kind of how that will look okay so it has been washed and hung to dry and this like I was saying is the inside of it see how it's this like I mean look at this fun fabric especially at the top but the liner, that's what it's called, the liner or lining, is just gorgeous. And then under you have, well, several layers. Shoot, I don't know. Okay, completely inside out, all right? Completely inside out. What if we were to like pull up a little bit and kind of just pin it like that? Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Um, let me turn it back right side out and then give you an idea of what that looks like. And that is the proper outside. Now it's still not all the way dry, so there are some dark spots right here. Uh, but I couldn't wait any longer to show you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, definitely not black. Uh, so just know that when you're doing your writ dye, even the kind meant for synthetic fabrics, it might take a couple of times with a couple of bottles of dye if you want it to actually be black if your fabric had any color to it originally. But anyway, um, I really like that. That's really pretty. It's just that this, this is glorious. Isn't this beautiful? I want this to show. What if, uh, I don't know, we just kind of pin some of this up, you know, as something of like a bustly kind of thing or shred some of it. <laughs> well, anyway, let me show you the lace. Okay, I've got some of the lace here. 
Isn't that fun how some of it just went totally black and then other things like a purple and then this, the edge is black, but the rest is like this, I don't know, grayish, yeah, like gray. Um, what to do, what to do? Well, I'm gonna play with it a little. I brought up my dumpster salvage, ooh, and some coffee. <laughs> it's raining outside, okay? <sighs> I brought up some more coffee, dumpster salvaged, of course. Yes, we are still working through the mountains of dumpster salvaged coffee. Um, I brought up my dumpster salvaged sewing box and I haven't used it in a while. Olivia has been into it. I'm interested to see what's still here and that's supposed to be here. Um, but we'll, we'll find a thread that somewhat works with what we're doing. Hmm. Ooh, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. From the bins, obviously. Almost all of this is from the bins. But um, I'm going to start playing around, just kind of loosely tacking things into place. And I don't know. We'll see where, where we end up. But first, I've got a lovely fireplace going on the TV. And the dress, oh, it is coming along beautifully. It's so fantastic. Oh, my goodness. So I added... Uh, a few snippets of creepy cloth that I've had for years and years and years. In fact, I just went and cut a couple of pieces off of my yard display. Yeah, <laughs> why not? We are down to the last of the laces. This is one of the other laces that I threw in with um, the black writ dye. It was a white lace and this is the color we've ended up with. So that's the last of what I'm going to add as far as the things that we've colored or any type of fabric. The final elements, well, there'll be things like beads or gems or flowers that I will spray paint black or gray, something like that, silver maybe. I've got to look through my dumpster salvaged flowers and beads. Have I mentioned that I am severely arthritic? <laughs> that I gave up hand quilting and cross stitch and all of that a few years ago because of how bad the arthritis is? <laughs> and here I am, nevertheless, hand stitching, hand stitching this lace onto this dress. <sighs> is this stubbornness? Is this dedication? Is this madness? Or perhaps a mix of all three? Hopefully the end result makes it worth it. But I'm going to go ahead and plug in the wax bath so that my hands can get a good soak and a bit of, of reprieve from this madness and determination and stubbornness. So next, I've got some dumpster scissors and some dumpster beads, just one of those fun necklaces you get like at the dollar store or the party store. And this is going to add some fabulous, um, oh, what are they called? A fab It'll be a fabulous notion. Aren't those, isn't that what the things are called? Like notions. That's all the little odds and ends that you add as the, the bling to your sewing project. Yeah, I'm going to cut it up a little bit. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. So Mariah's home and I've had her do a try-on test and I knew it would be a little short, but it's definitely shorter than I want it. Yeah, now you can see lots of these other details that I have added, the, the beads and um, laces and things. Oh yeah, I don't think I've shown the back yet. So there's the back, such as it is, and then the front. Other places that I've added the beads and the lace but it's definitely shorter than I am okay with. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of addition to it. Uh, I wanna show this lace at the bottom. Yeah, I added some, and then the other side, I added some lace there. Uh, well, I'll find a way, um, but I do, I want it a little bit longer, and I do have other dumpster salvaged lace and fabrics 
but I don't want to have to dye anything else because I don't want to buy anymore. So I'm mm, going to have to get creative. I will pull out some potential pieces and we will see what we want to do. But there's a fun look at where we are um, for now. Oh, and keep in mind that there will also be a veil. She will have shoes, obviously. She will have a bouquet. Her skin will be colored a little bit differently. And, um, oh, she'll probably have some pearls and I'm going to add cobwebs. Maybe some jewelry too. Yeah, a little bit of jewelry, probably some gloves. But yeah, cobwebs will definitely uh, make a big difference. But it's fun to see it on because I can just like hold it up and lay it down, but then you don't really know how things are going to actually lay, like how they're gonna sit on a body until you try it on. <laughs> it's very poofy. You are quite the dancer for a dead bride. <laughs> All right, Mimi. <laughs> I added a train of assorted pieces and I've pinned a few more on that I will sew into place. Turn that way a little. Okay, stop please. I've pinned just a couple of things into place that feel like they needed to be there. And then we have this glorious spooky train. Now it is a little bit too long. Um, but we're figuring she can hold it like as you would with a train on your dress. Yes. Been there and done that, so. Yeah, you'll have like, but yeah, that's true. Too bad we don't have someone to be your dead bridesmaid. Yeah. Maybe Raven could. <laughs> no. Anyway, so um, I'm going to sew these into place, these couple of things that I've added. And I might fill this out just a little, but also on these kind of pieces, I kind of want to add little bits of lace or appliques. Uh, not sure yet, maybe even just like spiders, possibly little black flowers. But frugal friends, this will be the last that you see of this fabulous dumpster upcycled dead bride costume until we put the whole look together with makeup, with a veil, with a bouquet, with jewelry and shoes, all of that goodness, probably the fog machine. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Uh, probably the day before Halloween. Well, no, a couple days before Halloween for school because they usually do a parade. Sound good? Okay, so stay tuned, frugal friends. But there it is for now. Possibly the coolest thing I have ever made from Dumpster Salvage Treasures. Ta-ta. <laughs>